Ben, what would you say are the basics for a sound portfolio? Well, first, have lots of money in it. <laughs> There's almost no situation in which it's not better to have a lot of money in your portfolio than a little money in your portfolio. Uh, it's a very good idea to make sure you have more than you think you need. So we've seen a lot of signs, uh, kind of the canary in the tunnel type of thing, that the economy is starting to turn around. If you have a very long-term time horizon, the uh, results are likely to be pretty good. If you have a short-term or medium-term time horizon, I would say be cautious. Well, Ben, for this next question, I want to invoke a fictional friend from your past, Ferris Bueller. He's not fictional. Let's say Ferris Bueller has taken the last 23 years off in terms of savings. What should Ferris do? What should his portfolio look like now that he'll listen to you? Well, I would say the first thing he should do is get a trusted advisor and consultant to work with him. Uh, he shouldn't try to do it by himself. Our country was founded on classical economic principles, on low taxes, free markets, individual freedom. Uh, it's instinctive in the part of the people. In terms of investing, how do you think you could stack up against Warren Buffett? Warren Buffett is as much better at investing as a bull is stronger than a mouse. Well, I think the, the real key is uh, where the economy is headed longer term especially in light of uh, the current movement in the direction of higher taxes, uh, more government control. That's why it's good to have diversification so you're protected whether it goes up or whether it goes down, whether it goes sideways. It's a good idea if you can to take some of your money out of your compensation, defer it, let it compound, and then have it available to you when you retire. You'll still be better off having more money than less money no matter what. And if you've deferred some of it, so that you, you have not spent it and it's there for you, even if it's taxed, it's better than not having it there at all. One of the most powerful forces in investments or in economics in general is the power of compound interest over time. And deferred compensation, of course, allows you to compound things at a more rapid rate. If you've got a longer term horizon, I believe it makes a great deal of sense.